<laughs> to be or not to be? That is the question. <laughs> Hi, James from England. Looking at uh, homonyms, homonym and homonyms. What are they? Well, before we even go there, why don't we just go to the board for a second? I want to show you something. I'm sure you've heard this before, right? In English, people say, those four things are for you. Okay, four, four. How about this? When you go to the store to buy the milk, swing by John's house and say bye to him for me. Now, a few of these words sound the same, but we know the meanings are not the same. And this is what we talk about by homonyms, okay? But I'm going to give you a little test before we get started on the lesson, because I want to do some grammar. Let's look at the board, all right? So Mr. E wants to test the, and he's giving you a little story. Now, bear in mind, when we're finished at the end of the video, or near the end, we're going to come back to this with the proper words and see what you've learned. I want you to bear with me as I teach you how to go on to the higher lessons on Ingvid. When you complete the whole video, you will be a much better student because you will know how to read and write like a native speaker. Now, to a native speaker, actually, it's quite funny. What I just said, if they're not looking at the board, is perfect English. But if you were to actually write this on paper, they would be scratching their head going, what is wrong with you? Empty, job, whole, no, and correct don't make any sense. And probably what I just said to you doesn't make any sense because you're thinking, huh, you wrote that, James, you should know, and you're right. And in a second or two, so will you. Ready? Okay, ready? Let's do the grammar. Now, what is homonym? Well, nim means name, right? When we're here, I'm gonna go off for a second, but you can see nim means name, homo means same. So homo means same, so it means same name. But this is a general term. And what we have to look at is not the general term, but the individual terms for grammar. Because some teachers may say to you, this is a homophone or homograph, and you're going to say, what? Well, I'll break it down for you. Homophone, think your iPhone. Got the iTalk going here. Phone is for sound, right? Because we have phonics, sound. So what we have here is a homophone sounds the same, but it's spelled differently and has a different meaning. Bear and bear, right? And the story earlier, we talked about bear, and it didn't look quite right. You were right, because I was using a homophone, okay? But it also could be a homograph. What? Too many words. We're going to simplify. You know what a graph is, right? It tells you how things are moving. Usually graphs are written, right? So graph, and then we come to, in English, we say graphic. He had graphic speech, which means he was saying something, right? Or written. It was written very strongly. So written the same, the word can be written the same, but it has a different meaning, bear and bear. Notice this one's a noun and this one's a verb. And in case you're confused because I use the same thing over and over, why don't we just look over here? I might explain it to you. Okay, so we're looking over here, we've got bear. The first bear is not, not covering or no covering. If this is my bare arm, you will see there is no shirt, it's bare. I won't take the rest off and go bare because this isn't for children. <laughs> this is a little, you know, it's an adult, not an adult video. It also means open to view. If I say my, my life is bare, laid bare, it means it's open, anyone can look at it. If you have bare cupboards at home, there's nothing in them, okay? They're empty, no, co not, no covering, there's nothing inside, empty. When we look at bare, almost the same, this one's an adjective, but when we say bare here as a verb, it means to support, huh? Well, you have, let's say a wall. You have a table, okay? This is your table. If I put this on it, this is having a hard time supporting it. See, the table's not really stable. Once I put this on it, it cannot bear the weight. It will break. So when we talk about support, when we say bear, can it bear, bear this? It means, can it take the weight? Is it strong enough? Okay? That's bear as a verb, okay? But here, I'm going to give you a phrasal verb for free. I know you love me. When I say bear with me, it means, please be patient with me, right? Support me. Give me some time to speak. Bear with me for a second, right? Bear here is that big scary animal. <laughs> or the teddy bear in your house, right? It's an animal. So it can also be a noun. So you have to really be careful, right? As a homograph, 
it can have two meanings. As a homophone, it can have two meanings. But the word is still the same. Bearing with the lesson, let's continue. Hire. Hire is for a job, and that's what you want, I'm sure, if that's why a lot of you are studying English. And it's a verb. Will you hire me? Is he hiring? Are they hiring? Can I get a job? Okay, that's the verb. But hire, as the comparative is, there's low, 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 and then I'm going to go, hi, 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 Right? Voice. My voice went higher. Okay? And lower. So, price. Sometimes we say this price is higher than the other price. It means more expensive. Or, but don't use hire for people, people. <laughs> okay? He is not higher than you. Unless it's position on a job, he's taller than you. Okay? But hire can be, oh, look, the plane is going higher and higher, moving ever upwards or going up. Cool? All right. Now, what about whole? I like whole. Because whole means complete. I often eat whole pizzas in one sitting. It means complete or not damaged. Did you get the whole set? All of the pens? Everything came together? Okay, complete or not damaged. Here's another hole. The place I used to live in was a hole. It means disgusting. I've actually taught in holes as well. It means a disgusting or not nice place. Some bars are holes. You don't want to go to them. But it also means you're like this. Brought to you by the special effects of Ingvid. A hole. A hole. A hole. Ah! <laughs> this is a hole. <laughs> okay? I made a hole. A hole means a tear or a rip. When something is broken, when it's got a hole in it, and sometimes the hole is very small, like this one here. There. That's a hole. So, if you said it has a hole in it, I go, oh man, it's got a hole. I gotta get a new one now. It's got a hole in it. Man, I live in a hole. I got a hole in my shirt. Things are pretty bad for me right now. Okay? Or it could be a missing piece. Because if you say there's a hole in here, it means there's a piece not there. Here's the piece. Here's the hole. <laughs> All right. All right. Duh. In English, it means stupid. All of this is writing. When you do this, it's called writing. I don't think I have to explain. Otherwise, we have to go to the basic, basic lesson. All right. And the other one is rights and freedoms. In America, they have rights. All over the world, you want to get your rights and freedoms. Freedom to speak. Freedom to vote. So a right is something that your government or your, uh, I don't know, charter of rights and freedoms gives you. that says you're allowed to do certain things and no one can stop you from doing them. What are your rights? So, I mean, your rights, okay, your rights, that's a noun. I have rights in this country, the right to drive, the right to vote, the right to serve my country. And writing is clearly the verb, when you write a letter to your mother or write an email. But there's also another one, and this is right, and I didn't quite put it under there, so I'll do it now. When you have this right as an adjective, it means correct. You are correct. He is right. He is correct. So we have three different meanings for right. Cool? And finally, we're going to do no. Now, I didn't do a lot because no is basically, it could be a noun, an adverb, an adjective, or a verb. But for most of you guys, you know what no means in your, your language, right? It's negative, right? So no in this case just means negative. But the other no is to have information. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think you do. Don't say no. You do know. Okay? So in this case, do you know? Do you have the information I need? All right? So we've done our grammar and we've done our vocabulary. Let's go back to that original story, okay? And I'm going to fill in the blanks and you're going to help me. And then we're going to know if we really know what we're talking about. Ready? So test time. Remember the story we told before? I didn't write the whole story out. So I used one of them again, right? Whole. But we got the sentences. So why don't you take a look and tell me which should go there? I want you to bear with me. Now with your new knowledge, is it bear or bear? That's right. B A. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Bear. If you don't remember, you're going to have to watch this video again and you have to do the quiz when we're finished. How about this? You go into higher lessons. Will you get a job? I get a job now? I don't think so, son. The higher lessons, right? Now, what about this one? Complete the whole video? This is not a whole video. It's a good video. I know what whole means in the bad way. It's a good video. So I want you to do like I do with the pizza and watch the whole video. And you will know. <laughs> you will know. No, no do, no do. Mr. E, Mr. E, what, where was he? Was he in this video? I think he was. I hope he was at the beginning. But you will know. 
because I don't know right now if he was. You will know how to write, unfortunately almost the story, how to write, you are not correct. You must do the verb here, like a native speaker. And also read, because if you don't know homonyms, you'll have a problem sometimes, right, when you're reading. So, we've gone through these. You notice they're all different than the first ones. So then you're smart enough to know I taught you 10 vocabulary words and homonyms. Homophone and homograph. I hope you like that. Mr. E's gone, which is a clue for me to go as well. Have a good day, but before I go, you need to go to www, see this makes a W, dot ing as in English, vid as in video dot com, where you can learn more about your homographs, homonyms. There are a couple lessons in Ingvid and uh, other stuff like conversation. I like that. Anyway, have a good one and see you soon. I think it's the right thing to do, don't you?